It's time for the top five of the day here on the post show. Coming up, number five on the list. A very special moment for everybody here watching Bells. We all love to watch Sally Fitzgibbons. But how cool is this? The most successful surfer in Bells history was here. A 10-time Bells champ, Gail Cooper, watching the action. Incredible to see her down here, right in the mix with everyone, and especially for those surfers running down the steps to see 10 times. 10 years underneath Gail Cooper's name. That is so special. Courtney was thriving off that motivation from Gail being on site. She features number four on the daily top five. She's back in form, Rich. Yeah, she's clicked into uh, Mick Fanning's cyborg mode here, really focusing on the job at hand, connecting with a, with a number of beautiful bowl, Bell's bowls here, and uh, just going to town, bringing her power act on display and uh, throwing some progression on the early, on the late stages of the turn. So uh, great to see her mixing it up, looking happy after the win. So cool to see Courtney ripping. This was a sentimental win for a lot of people who root for Bronte McCauley around the world. She was incredible against Tatiana today. Her form was all time. She really was literally having the heat of a lifetime. And it was so exciting to see her whipping that backhand around, especially at a wave like Bell's where Goofies have struggled to make events before. This is Bronte's first time past the round of 16, and what a way to do it. So great to see her picking the best sets. I think that was the biggest takeaway. She had so much wall to work with, and she wasn't surfing safe. She was belting the lip line, looking incredible, getting past the last year's runner-up in the world. Number two on the top five, Carissa Moore. Blew up today, Rich. Well, Carissa came in and said she was just trying to feel her way into this event and uh, just trying to get to know Bells again. And, man, if this is her just, like, easing into it, then I, I, I'm scared for when she really starts to click. But you could see the form was there, the power, the precision, uh, the aggression when she really digs into those turns. And it was a very polished performance uh, from the world champion. And, uh, well, she must be at the top of the list when you're talking form. The winning surfer of the post show and take it number one tyler wright absolutely incredible today excellent heat for tyler once again oh she's absolutely feeling it i mean love seeing her get that massive 17 plus heat total love seeing her just find that rhythm in the lineup and so hungry coming in to win the bell finally the big one not just the small ones this is the way to do it such great form. Tyler is back, ready for her first win of the season as, as she is looking so solid on the Bells Bowl. She's looking for her first Bells trophy as well. She's got the runner up, but she wants to take the title out. She said that so many times throughout the day today and maybe put herself in a position for the final five early on this season so she can compete for her third world title.